Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wonky, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. I'm busy up uh, still grinding the uh, Skafest currently going on, or the Skokfest, or uh, the Skishuofest, whatever you want to call it, except for one specific word. But, you know, because I'm going to be pretty hard into the grindstone for another week on that, I figure may as well look what's going to come up in the next month, which is September. So we're going to take a look at what next upcoming events are going to be coming to the game, or potentially that is, because there's always a chance for something new to come in, for something we don't know to come in, or for something else like that, especially now that we know that they're going to be starting to throw us a couple curveballs every now and then. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, you can comment down below, tell me what you're looking forward to or what you plan to do for the upcoming month, and let's get into it, huh? So. It's weird because on Jap J JP, this is their September is this. We already had all this, so we have to move on to October, uh, which is the start of hunting quests part. What is this nine? Yeah, nine. I don't know if there's anything good in this one. Let me see. We got chains. We got bells. We got medals. We got balls. Uh, those are balls. Got more balls, and we got the the Aurora Steel, and then we have Hunting Boars. These have the little mechanical gears and the reactor cores. Actually, now I need to go back to the front here and see if there's anything. No. Okay, no, no, no. no. Chains, chain, chains. Oh, I can see right here. Mechanical parts thingies. Hearts and little... Uh, what the... The embionic fluid? Is that what it's called? It's called the... Yeah, the fluid. <laughs> Whatever it's called. Demon, and then the Hydra is the horseshoes and poison. Oh, no, it's not poison. I think it's actually wine. Yeah, bizarre godly wine. There you go. Uh, uh, one moment. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm back. Sorry, got a little bit distracted there. Uh, but yeah, that's the hunting quest. It's pretty simple. But to go along with the hunting quest is the Guda Guda summoning campaign, which features Okita, Hijikata, and Okado. Uh, is Izo in the next one? Let me see. I don't think Izo is actually in the next summoning campaign. He is not. Um, so yeah, this is your one chance to try- not your one chance, because I think Izzo constantly comes back, but he is a limited three-star, so that is worth noting. Uh, we got Okita, we got Izzo, Ichikata, and then Izzo, so... Yeah, and then also they get a new strengthening, up for quick, up for- I forget if this is the good one that he gets. Hijikata is not the greatest unit in the world, but he does eventually get a buff that makes him much better. This is the one. He doesn't have a, a... So, Hijikata is a fun unit in that he has entire Noble Phantasm is based on him taking a lot of damage. Has no built-in guts. <laughs> Zero in built-in guts with him whatsoever. And you finally get it with this one, and it's the, one of the better kind of guts. Um, the best kind of guts is obviously the one Kama has that is infinite, and it also... Um, actually, I don't think Kama's is the best. I think Herx is technically the best. The one that is infinite... Uh, last any number of turns, it lasts until you take any form of damage, and it's stackable. Um, that's the best form of it, so that's pretty good. Uh, it does only revive him with 1 HP, but because you want to get him so low, it's pretty fine. It's fine to get him that low anyway, so pretty nice. Not bad. If you're a fan of Okita, then this is your best chance to get Okita. Uh, before she's back in the Disney Vault, and then she never returns. And then the next coming up is the next Guda Guda event. I forget, was the Guda Guda event rerun all the way back? Yeah, Guda Guda Yamate Kuki 2020, or for us it will be 2022. I forget, is this the one that has, yes, it probably is going to have him in here. Um, yeah, this is where we finally get our Nobukatsu, which is in the free-to-play banner um, during this event period. He's at an event exclusive, I think one star, uh, yeah, one star rarity that you can only get during this campaign and during the free-to-play banner, so I hope you had plenty saved up and you're able to get him, because otherwise he's, once again, locked away behind the Disney Vault. And then in terms of the gacha, we have Himiko, and then we have Saito Hajime. Don't know much about Saito myself, didn't look too much into him, but I really like Himiko. I have her on the JP version of the game, at least the one version of my account has her, and she's also a buster support, and she's a buster support that I'd be willing to use. So that's nice. I don't have any form of buster support because I refuse to summon on Merlin. Not because I hate him, uh, but more because I already know 
Summoning for Merlin is a fool's gambit into giving you full, full despair, so I've never gone too crazy for him. And that's why I've never done it, but... You know, a tiny little buster support is perfectly fine, 30%. That's all I really need. I just need it for specific challenge quests and stuff like that. She charges her own MP gauge, and I think her... Noble Phantasm also increases party's buster performance for 3 turns, and give them some overcharge party for 2 stages, 1 time, 3 turns, so I don't know, pretty nice. I would gladly use her with my Quetz and stuff like that, who is a also a buster servant, and she's a ruler, so... hey, why not? That's what I say. So that's the next Guda Guda event. I will talk more in depth about the actual event when it's a coming up. And let's see, I don't know if we're gonna get this or we've already gotten this. If we go to the stage, Grand Temple Time Performance. Just an excuse to give us three apples and one, two, three, four, five quartz. Specific great and success up for these units. I don't know if we ever got this. I don't know if we ever got any form of the stage. Hmm. Don't know about this one. I doubt we'll get it though. I don't know if we're gonna up for our, uh, our day anniversary at all, but I think it's just same quartz. I think it's just like 10, like it always is. Yeah, 10. Okay. And then the final thing that would be for the month would be Christmas 2019 rerun, which is gonna be insane. I did it until I realized the end of September is our Christmas rerun. <laughs> that means we have Christmas in October. No, we have Christmas in November. This is so dumb. What did Japan? Japan fucked up so many things. Oh my god. Um, that's way too early to be having this Christmas 2019 rerun. If I'm being 100% rule of you. But I don't know if there's gonna be any specific gaps that they could fill in. Yeah, there's no, like, big- oh, there is one big story thing, but then the story thing will have to be- everything's kind of screwed up here. Yeah, we're probably not- the entire schedule's gonna look screwy until we get to January 1st, and we get this- these units. I doubt we'll get Saber Wars early, but we'll kind of see on that one. If anything, we probably would get Saber- ah, oh, no, I don't think so. I don't know. If we don't get Saber Wars early and they just, like, wait and be like, okay, well, to be fair, this happened on January 6th, so this could totally happen on January 1st, maybe? Why the hell was there six days of nothing in, <laughs> in Fago? What the hell? I just realized that now when I said it. It's like, what, what, what? That's crazy. The entire scheduling is crazy. So yeah, we're gonna end it up. There's nothing in Christmas 2019 rerun for me. Um, yeah, there's nothing really. I already did the summoning campaign. I don't. I don't already got Bradamante. I don't really feel that much about Astolfo. It's so stupid that they had to put Bradamante on this banner because they never give quits a rerun. I don't remember if this was in the original one. I'm gonna say she wasn't. If it if she was on this one, then that's an, uh, a declaration from them of saying we're sorry that we never did a summoning. She isn't. Those bastards. They really should. With how much dead air we have, and for them to do it, we should just have three Christmas reruns. Just say screw it. Fuck it. Give us Samba Quets on NA, and make it so that JP is the only one that got it once. Uh, and before you even try and tell me, like, we can't do that because of Kanika Man, I've said it so many times, I'll say it again, we did not- The reason we did not get her again is because of stupid scheduling, and it had nothing to do with Kanika Man or them being afraid of Sony or Shonen Jump. Because Kinnika Man is a parody manga filled with 5,000 different infractions. They have actual real-ass wrestlers in there with, like, instead of Dusty Roads, they call them Busty Goads. And it's, like, beautiful Busty Hoads. And they're perfectly fine. Parody is protected under anything. The only reason they didn't bring back Samba Quetz is because they ran out of time. <laughs> and they're terrible with their timetables. As you can see from the fact that I'm talking about NA. And for some reason, we are in September... Our September is in October, and we're like weirdly ahead by a month, but also we're not in the same- I don't know what happened, man. But that's what it's looking up for us to be for the month of September. If you think there's going to be anything different, or you have some specific thoughts about what you're going to be waiting for on here, let me know. I think it's going to be pretty chill up until uh, our girl comes out here. For a lot of people, I know what they're doing. They're waiting for the man here. Muramasa, but for me, it's all about getting a Buki right here, baby. And then we'll see how the rest of the year kind of goes out from there. I think a Buki is my last big one for this year. Ah, oh, no, damn it. This is another big one. I really hope they fix this banner too, because 
having Nemo and Van Gogh share a banner really sucks for this. <laughs> I don't know why they did it to be 100% real view, but they did it. it. There's a lot of weird shit coming up. But that's it for today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Once again, thank you for Top TV Wikis for fucking showing up when not wanted. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.